and you will become famous and you will become rich. So these are, this is the definition of success. Uh, success does not mean that you have a, a lot of money in your bank account. Uh, success does not mean you have five cars parked at your house, no? one for two years. Success does not mean you have a flank okay, at your house. So, success means like you achieve what you want to do in your life. Now, there is the government job has become very scared. For example, here, today we have uh, how many freshers? Maybe 100 freshers. Okay. I can guarantee, I can write to you. No? That out of the hundred, no? what are the chances that you forget about NBSC or NS, NS, NSB? No? What are the chances that you will even get a master? There, the chances are very less. They forget about you becoming a first class area officer in the government. So, like we have to, we have to really think in our heart, like. If you really want to be successful in life, you have to find out. You have to, maybe after going back from here, like those who are new graduates, those who have just passed class 10, class 12, or those who have graduated, go back and think. Spend, take some time and just think and speak to yourself what I really want to do with my life. Okay? So when you achieve what you really want to do in your life, I think that is success. And then not only that, but then you keep doing well throughout your life. You know? Don't see the human perspective. You know, the way we look at things is only money. You need money, fame. Huh? You want to become famous, you want to have a lot of money. Huh? You want to have a lot of cars. Uh, the boys, they want to have the most beautiful way. The girls, they want to have the most beautiful husband, no? And then, you dream thinking that success will be, it will be having a nice bungalow, and I will have one in all for my wife, no? one fortune for myself, okay? And one, maybe another in all for my children. No? We, we, that is our perception. That's how we perceive that, oh, if we see like that, a person, we think that, oh, he is a very successful person. No? That is wrong. Okay, that's our, no, that's the, that's a wrong concept to think that you are successful. Uh, Warren Buffett, no? he's one of the richest men in the world. Right? Uh, he said, he said, what is success? No? And he talks, saying that, he talks about this, what are the qualities that like these successful people, what, what they have, okay. So, he said that these successful people, you know, they have in themselves a good, a goal, they have a vision, they have a dream. So, if you want to be successful in life, you know, successful people, they always have a goal. These are the people, they always have a vision, they always have a dream. And they always believe in themselves, okay. That they could be something. You know? Where they are, they believe in themselves that one day they could be something for the society or for the people. You know? They are willing, those people like the qualities they have is these are people who are willing to put their time, you know? their energy like to better themselves. And then they work on their skills. And then these people, they have a determination to succeed and they have a determination to work in hard. No? So these are the qualities of being a successful person. Now, who all don't want to become successful? Who all don't want to become rich? Okay? Who all don't want to become famous? Uh, I'm here standing because I thank all of you, especially Perhaps when you president and the people here think that I'm very successful and I'm very famous and you know, sometimes I give donations here and there so people think, oh this guy is a very successful person so 
they are given a bigger platform to speak. So one day this will be yours. No? Okay? If you chase after your dream and the thing that which you are good at, no? if you chase like the things that which you want to do, no? and one day I'll be gone tomorrow, but the next platform will be for you to teach and to pass on the values and to pass on the knowledge to others. Uh, there was a uh, I'll just give some examples and encourage you about uh, success. What does success mean? Like in one story, there is a uh, old lady, American. That person is a Russian Jew. Her name was Rose uh, Blumkin. Okay. So during the World War One time, she went to America and she did not know English. Okay. Now she went to America. And then she married, she met uh, a Russian, another husband, so she settled in America. So for 20 years what she did was, she was poor, she didn't know how to speak English. But when she was in Russia, she, as she grew up, she had, a, she had a commitment and she had something in her heart that always keeps telling her that I think I'll be very good business if I do, I'll be very good if I do business in furniture selling furniture, okay. but she didn't have anything. So when we landed in America, now for the first 20 years they had kids, so they had to take care of the kids and, and the expenses just went back. So what she did was, everything was still burning inside her heart and she knew that what she wants to do in her life. So for 20 years what she did was, uh, she used to sell the old, old clothes and she would take clothes from the neighbors, she would sell water coffee from she would say. So it's in around 1938. After 20 years now, her dream burned 20 years back. So after 20 years, uh, she had $2,500 in her hand. No? So after 20 years, she said, I think now it's time for me to move on. Okay. So now with this $2,500 and the dream that one day she will open up a furniture house, she started buying old furniture and then she will make them new, she will make look new and then she started doing this furniture business. After 20 years you know what happened, the value of her business grew up to 65 million and then the last year it was estimated that there was a sale of 1.5 billion dollars. It just came from nothing, it just came from the desire, it just came from the goal, the vision. So here. I want to ask the student, what is your vision, what is your dream? Am I, I, I'm very sad to say that, you know, uh, my father is a peon and I want to be a That's the mentality we have. I'm very sad to say that, when you ask me, uh, your father will be working as a peon and maybe a boy, maybe in the Your father did everything to send me here to the market to study. Okay. Now you don't have a dream, you don't have a passion, you don't, you don't know where you are going. And finally when you graduate and your father retires, and then your father comes down to the market, take your documents and then go from door to door saying, please replace my job for myself. It's a shame. Man. That's, that's where you and me have. If you don't have a dream, if you don't have a vision, if you don't have a goal, you'll be lost. You should know where you are going. Like, you want to travel, okay, I want to travel. Now you are traveling in an airplane. You are traveling in a train. You are traveling in a car. You should know where you are going. Otherwise, where will you end up? Nowhere. Even the Bible talks about where there is no vision. If you want to see Proverbs 39, it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. If you don't have a goal, if you don't have a vision, if you don't purpose in your heart, if you don't know what you are good at, you will be lost. It's, it's so amazing, like, you just come here, sit, listen, have nice food, but it's another thing, like to face the real life. And I think the we should start living in the real.
real world. You should think about what do you want to be after five years, after ten years. This is the time to decide. You cannot decide after 40 years that you, know, you have your degree and you are nowhere. Because there is no job. Everybody thinks about government job or teacher. Okay? Now, education, I'm, I'm not saying that education is not important. I'm saying that education is important. For example, if you want to become a primary teacher, you have to do nowadays a healing course, right? Otherwise, you will not get a primary teacher. If you want to join, uh, teach class 18, you have to have multi-session training. If you want to teach high school, you have to have DM. If you want to teach college, you have to clear need. You need to have PhD. Okay. If you want to become a doctor, you have to go to medical school, nurse, nursing school. Huh? If you want to be good in carpentry, you have to join some skills, uh, some polytechnic courses like, uh, like carpentry, electrician. Huh? So education is important for all the things like. That. So what you are, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, education is also important, but what matters the most is. So you should just go back. I want you to, if you want to be really successful, the first step to become a successful person is you have to know what you want to do with your life. If you don't know what you want to do with your life, you will be lost. You will end up nowhere in this competitive world. Don't be like my friend. Uh, my very good friend now is uh, like the first secretary. Uh, he's going to be posted abroad. abroad. So he was just recently posted as the Secretary of External Affairs. So he's a big IS officer now. Don't be like him also, that some, like we did our schooling together. No? We, and he went for engineering, I went for medical. After finishing his engineering, he worked for some time. He was not satisfied with his job. Then he joined MBA, uh, he cleared MBA CAP, and he was working for the performance. He was not satisfied with that. Came back and finally, cleared, finally appeared to UPSA. And then he got through the UPSA and he's an IFS officer. officer. Now, he was lost in the process of education. No? Now, sometimes we need to have education, but in the process of educating yourself, you, need, you also need to find out what you are good at. You have to plan yourself in five years down the line what I want to become that. You have to find out. Otherwise, you will be lost somewhere. He was not lost because he was an intelligent student. He was a top in class, ten class, two. He was, he was the best student. So somehow he could make it. But many of the average students, I want you to purpose in your heart as you go what you want to become in your life. Now, he is, my friend is a commissioner and secretary now. He's an IS officer. Uh, what he did was, in, when we were in class field of science, that time we called it pre science. That was in the year 97, 98. I went for MBBS. Now, I had in my mind, I was taking mathematics, so I wanted to do engineering, I wanted to do medical now. So, I gave both the exams, and I was selected in the medical also, engineering also. And my parents told me to go for medical. Now, I went for medical, but I didn't get the best college. The other friends of mine, one friend of mine, for him to pass class 12 was his education. He needed to study medicine, to start to become a doctor. At least, before studying a MBS, you have to pass class 12. Now, he studied class 12 just to pass. But during the two years time, class 11 and 12, he was just studying for his entrance exam. He didn't care. He said education is important for me, but it is just a step. And then my dream, my goal is to become a doctor in a good college. And he got in AIMS. Okay? He got in AIMS. That time in 1999, he got in AIMS. Now for me, I want, my heart was to. So I got a video but I ended up in a second class college. Now this generation, this generation, that is my generation. But now this generation, you cannot have to, you cannot be, the, there is a proverb that says, check of all trades, 
or the master of none. No? You can't have two goals in life. This is the time that your mind has to be focused on one. Otherwise, you'll end up nowhere. My friend, uh, who is a uh, commissioner secretary, he got highest directly to do that. In class, we all went for technical, but he said, my goal is to write UPSC exam, civil service exam. So the three years when he was doing BSc, what he did was he was preparing for UPSC because he had purpose in his heart that to write the minimum, the UPSC minimum criteria is graduation. graduation. So he did graduation so that his dream he can apply. So that his dream he can, he will have the qualification to write the UPSC. But his preparation was right from the time he was BSc 1, he was just preparing for the UPSC. Okay. Now three years preparation, and then after graduation, he didn't even did an uh, MSc or MA. He got selected in the UPSC, and he became the IS officer. Just imagine. After three years, we are still struggling with the MBBS, but he became the IS officer, and he and me were in the same age. We are 43, 44. But he is the commissioner and secretary. He will be chief secretary now for a long period of time. He will, be the, he will become one of the longest serving. She's a hindry now. So, what I'm saying is, right from now, especially class 12 students, like if you're going to class 10, whoever has passed class 10, and now you want to, you, you have purpose in your heart that I want to study medical, I want to study engineering. You know what the other friends are doing? You know what the other friends, like what the other people are doing is? They are, they are like uh, some of our, some of the people whom I know. They just passed class 10 and they are enrolled in 